The White House is up for grabs on the 5th of November 2024 and the question of who will adorn the highest rank of President of the United States remains. The presidential candidates are all pumped with promises, but which way will the citizens of the U.S. sway? As the Democrats take on the Republicans, the most promising candidates for the post of president have emerged. While the Democrats are completely dependent on Joe Biden, the Republicans, who started out with 13 candidates, are now down to seven and are jostling to run for the White House. The key contenders who people are looking out for this election season are President Joe Biden from the Democratic Party, and from the Republican side, there's former President Donald Trump, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, and American entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy. Although there are five frontrunners for the president's chair, the Biden versus Trump showdown steals the spotlight. <laughs> President Biden doesn't seem to be having a cakewalk this election. He faces a lot of flack for his age and his economic reforms. Biden's age has made young voters think he is not fit to run for a second term. The Democratic Party, however, has no plan B if Joe Biden decides to halt his 2024 re-election campaign. And that's to prepare those to be sent into harm's way. If I were the Biden campaign, I would be very worried at this point. Because even though polls are only snapshots in time and they're not supposed to be predictive, what they're really telling us is that approximately one year out before the election, in the critical swing states, the five or six states that are going to really decide the election, Joe Biden has a lot of work to do in terms of gaining the confidence of the, of the voters in those states. And so I'm worried because these are states he has to win, absolutely has to win to, to win the, a second term as president. Right now, Biden's hopes are hanging on things that are beyond Biden's control, convictions um, by, um, by, um, um, by juries of, of for Donald Trump. Um, Joe Biden's age. I think that's why he needs to be figuring out ways where he can shift the messaging and take control of the campaign. Right now, he does not seem to be in control of his own campaign or his own destiny for the presidency. And he needs to very rapidly change that around. Biden's approval rating is at 39% among the public, which is quite a worrying figure for the Democrats. Only a single digit percentage of voters under 30 favor Biden. The Democrats' lead among Hispanic voters is also down to single digits. Will Biden's age get the better of him, or will the Democrat bag another term as president? After Trump's 2020 loss to Biden, the Republican is coming back stronger than ever to take revenge. Then they rigged and stole the election of 2020. They rigged it and they stole it. And since crooked Joe Biden got in, he's been weaponizing government against his political opponents like a third world communist tyrant. Really no different. You take a look at what's happening. Trump faces 91 criminal charges, but they have not stopped him from gaining an edge over Biden in the presidential race. According to polls conducted by The New York Times and Siena College, Biden trails Trump in five out of the six battleground states. Polls show Trump leading in Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada and Pennsylvania. Biden, on the other hand, has only managed to grab a hold of Wisconsin. Biden sealed his 2020 victory by winning over five of the swing states. Trump and, uh, bagged all Jeremy six of the swing states CFP. when he won the presidency in 2016. Where, where will Trump be able to bring back his 2016 winning streak, or will he be bound to courtrooms and cases? If Donald Trump is found guilty and put behind bars in any one of the cases he's facing, then the candidate next in line to take over from him would be Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Thank you. Now, we believe that, that politics isn't about entertainment, it's not about building the brand on social media, that politics ultimately is about producing results. And we have produced results that have been second to none throughout this country. Ron DeSantis has said he's running to reverse the decline in America and to offer a new generation of leadership for the country. The Florida governor is seen as the top rival to former President Donald Trump in the 2024 GOP primaries. National opinion polls show DeSantis trailing Trump by 40 points. The biggest obstacle the DeSantis camp is facing is the party's infighting, staff turnover and shifts in direction.
three senior members of a super PAC backing Ron DeSantis left the group. Never back down, which backs the Florida governor's campaign, has taken a big blow after this. The shakeup in leadership has shown how unstable DeSantis's camp is. On the other hand, the Florida governor, whose eyes were set at the state of Iowa, has emerged as a strong contender there. DeSantis managed to campaign in 99 of Iowa's counties with just 44 days to go until the Iowa caucus. DeSantis is surely feeling the pressure to beat his rival Donald Trump. He has outspent Donald Trump, Joe Biden and the other presidential candidates during his campaigns. But will that help him emerge as a winner? I don't play for second. I'm playing to win it. I'm going to finish it and then we're going to get our country back on track. Voters ready to move on from Trump have increasingly found Nikki Haley more compelling. Haley has made a huge comeback in the presidential race after billionaire Charles Koch's endorsement. Though she trails behind Trump and DeSantis, the saving grace for the former South Carolina governor is that several high-profile donors are willing to back her. DeSantis's wobbly campaign has restored hope for Haley's presidential run. Nikki Haley's rising popularity has placed her before DeSantis in some polls, and she comes in second after Trump in the Republican primary race. Although taking on Trump will be a tedious task, Haley is putting up a strong fight by advertising in the key states of Iowa and New Hampshire. Polls show her tied with DeSantis in Iowa and surpassing him in New Hampshire. If Haley can bag her hometown of South Carolina, she may have a chance of defeating DeSantis. Taking on Trump is a long shot, but Nikki Haley is not backing down. As a father, my obligation is to my family, period. Yeah. Yeah. And then if I look at this as your president, my sole obligation is to you American citizens, period. The man of Ten Commandments, who was once a public favorite, is now nowhere to be seen. American entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy created a lot of buzz after his stunning performances in the Republican debates in August and September. As the GOP campaign enters a crucial phase, Ramaswamy, unable to keep up, is falling behind. Although the presidential candidate is hitting up the key states like Iowa, he fails to resonate with voters. Ramaswamy has been scoring single-digit points yes, in states that are important in his presidential race. Though he may not stand a chance in the presidential bid, he surely caught Donald Trump's eye with his performance. Donald Trump even endorsed Ramaswamy as a potential vice president candidate and called him a very smart young man. Some say Vivek Ramaswamy could turn out to be Trump's heir. 2024 is undoubtedly going to be an unpredictable year for the United States. As Donald Trump is in and out of court, will he be convicted? Will President Biden's 81st birthday be his biggest downfall? Will Ron DeSantis stand a chance to defeat Trump? Will Nikki Haley script history by becoming the first female president of the United States? Or will Vivek Ramaswamy's Ten Commandments win over voters? Only time will tell.